Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Master of Orion. Last episode we expanded out our little Cylon Empire, Empire just a little bit. Oh! A space battle. We're at war? Did not even know that. Quek Prime has been attacked. Two destroyers, a, uh, a frigate, and well, five ships. So let's just uh, watch our, our demise here, because I don't think there's really too much you can do to sway these battles, it doesn't seem. I don't think I have... I was building a missile base, but I don't think I have any planetary defenses to speak of. Focus it on this. 20 damage to shields, and we're already dead defeat. So I didn't even realize we were at war. I wonder when that happened that I didn't manage to notice it. Oh, see, they're, they're attacking the planet now with nuclear bombs. They're damaging it. Close. Alright, they didn't do too much damage. The Alkari enacted a blockade of Quek Prime. Now, where is our our fleet? Here's our fleet. Now, they've got ships here. Shouldn't I be able to attack their ships? Oh, they're civilian ships. Maybe that's why. So, let's see. Oh, what do we want to do here? We got the military outpost building. We're building a missile base here. Let's speed up the construction. So we have some uh, planetary defenses to speak of. Alright, where are the rest of our fleets? So that's just that. And that's that one right there. So we got a destroyer and a frigate. That's all we got. And we got the Magnus class missile cruiser heading. I thought we had more ships. Alright, they're going to continue to bomb the planet. Took out a population. Two populations. So they were not happy about me... ...here. At all. GNN, Galactic News Network. The year of love, <laughs> as it was known... The population boom subsides due to nuclear fallout. Alright, choose some research. Even without me, our Cruisers are going to get mass drivers. Require your immediate attention. Choose research. Military tactics, that's a troop transport. Global DNA scanner. Moon laboratory, orbital shipyards. Tachyon communications, tachyon scanner. Battle scanners. Fighter bays, I like that. And battle pods. At equipment space without increasing the hull size. For substantial construction cost. Super alloys. Let's get uh, better bombs. Alright. We got a, a good deal of production here. You know what we're, we're, we're missing is we don't, have a, we don't have a good enough fleet right now. So we're going to need to start building. Do we want to start building a fleet or do we need defense? We need defenses. Missile base. So let's start building one of those over here. We have ships over here though, right? We have a destroyer and a frigate, that's it. I could have sworn we had more ships. Didn't we have a whole other fleet somewhere? So what do we want to do here? How much do these cost? Take 70 turns. I should tell you how much it would cost to buy it. I guess we'll, we'll start with that. We'll start getting that going. Oh, uh, shit. This isn't good. Because they're going to keep bombing my planet. I, I, they have way more ships than they do than I do. Well, at least this planet does have some defenses. 
We have our ships heading over here. All right, planet's been depopulated. I'll try to get these guys out of there. Fleet needs orders. Let's, um... Because this is the next closest planet. We could buy... If they start heading over here, we could buy the construction of the starbase there to defend the planet. Okay, so they've got... Uh, three destroyers and three frigates attach attacking the, our military outpost here, so... Let's see how much damage we can inflict before the outpost is overrun. Alright, let's put this on half speed for now. I wish I'd, I'd, I wish it'd give me information about my damn flu- I wish it gave me information about this, other than, like, like, its weapon systems and whatnot, but I guess it doesn't. Should we focus fire on... on this guy over here, is what I'm saying. What are these things that go by? We'll try to focus our fire on the weakest ships. Try to d destroy them. Alright, good. Yeah. Focus fire on these ones now. Whoa! Do you see the damage they're inflicting? A barrage from those guys wrecked me. Whoa! I am outclassed militarily. Oh, well, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful explosion. I took out one of their ships. They have Merculite missiles. Took out that frigate. I'm kind of glad I focused down on it because if I hadn't, there wouldn't I wouldn't there wouldn't have been any casualties whatsoever. So if they come to Titania Prime, if they come to Titania Prime, I will be able to hurry construction of that starbase. I have the the cash. Uh, a destroyer versus a space factory. Oh, they caught up to me. Yeah. So they caught up to my ship, my, my space factory there. The, the more construction we can get done, the less it'll cost us to actually purchase it. And we'll just simulate this. Boom. There we go. Don't need to watch that. It's just a pirate ship. So these are really good at defending against pirates. And I think in conjunction with an actual fleet, they'd be fine. How's the construction? Four turns until that's done. All right, you're going to guard here. We okay, uh, 14 turns, 500 credits. All right, let's try to hurry construction of a star base here, because this is clearly going to be their next target. Um, Ungle, do we have it? We've got a missile base coming here. Should probably actually do that as well. Try to hurry construction of these. Plus two. Get food on a little bit there. I didn't even realize. I I I, I guess when they were like, you know, don't settle here, and um, I said fuck you. That may have been a Control de facto declaration of war. Fusion beams and attention. fusion bombs. Update my blueprints. Controller, new development. All right. So what do we? Ion fusion. This is going to be an ion pulse beam and an ion drive. Uh, do 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 do. Military troop transports, global DNA scanner. All right, let's get military tactics. That'll probably lead to some. I could check out the thingy, but it'll probably lead to something good. Uh, I'm actually surprised how long the the turns take. Uh, it will it, it just finish in a second. All right, so we completed our missile base over here. Let's choose production. And the options are to build defenses here or you know what, I'm thinking building defenses or build ships. I'm thinking building the defenses here. The static defenses are going to should be strong enough to hold them off. All right, so the Magnus has been completed. Let's uh, keep another, actually, let's keep another one of these going. Although the space elevator uh, reduces construction cost. Let's get the space elevator. We got the one Magnus. 
So that's him right there. How long will it take Magnus to reach the rest of the fleet, though, the frontier? Is that, did that say 20 turns? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 10 turns. Seriously, like I like I, I looked down expecting the turn to take uh you know the, to take a second to process the turn, but then it doesn't. This I'm ooh, is what is this? And now oh, state of the galaxy. Of the galaxy. Current number of colonies. Six, six, and seven. I'm not on there. I've got one, two. I've got three. Even without me, our scientists have made a new. Alrighty, what are we looking at here? Research on fusion. All right, research is going to be is always helpful. Uh, they build it where they most needed. Or force one of your colonies in order to invade an enemy. Select. Okay, so you can uh, build troop ships now. Starbase has been completed. Amazing. Okay, so we got the starbase there, and I'm thinking. A destroyer Mark 10. Is in order, which is armed with four mass drivers, two fusion bombs, one Merculite missile, and a mass driver. Although, again, space. The space elevator. We gotta get the space elevators going, because that'll help us in the long run. Uh, looks like they got a fleet coming over this way, but the Magnus-class missile cruiser is inbound. Got more pirates coming, but I'm not worried about that. Welcome to GNN. The Bulrathi Empire has grown in strength. Was that it? <laughs> that That's all they wanted to tell me? That they've grown in strength? That's interesting. All right, so do we want to build destroyers or do we want to build another Magnus class missile cruiser? Or we could build this and that increases production across the board. All right, got a pirate ship over here. No big deal. Pirate motor, simulate that. All right, no, no big deal. All right, the missile cruiser is inbound. I don't think they have any cruiser class warships, but I don't understand this. Is this a, it's a scout ship, but I don't think I could do anything about that. Like well, maybe I could send my warship. I could maybe I could have had the Magnus attack it. All right, so there we go. We've got an, our new flagship. So it's a destroyer frigate and the Magnus class ship here. It takes seven turns to get to that system. The ship is just beastly, though, right? The scouts we can break off and send scouting if we wanted to. They don't need to be. They don't need to be with my my primary fleet, because they don't have any combat potential. Why don't we uh, let's head down here and see if we can't figure out what's going on? Oh, that's their home world. Shit, that might not be the best idea in the world. Uh, hope the magnet can you cancel. You can. No, no, no. It would actually just... Even without me, our scientists... It would just add in another waypoint, basically. Macroeconomics. Basically, anything that's going to get me better weapons or shields right now, I am all for. I, I honestly don't think... I don't think they had any... Like, large class warships. Marines... Train to maintain ground troops to protect the colony from invaders. Alright, let's, um, I think we're okay now. We got a star base there. We've got a missile base on the planet. So we should be okay in terms of defense. Uncle Farm, uh, better not to build the better biome should uh, restricted 
See, it says it's restricted to tundra and desert. I'm not a tundra or a desert, but I can still build it, so I'm assuming that's like a bug or something. Neutron Collider. Morale in Ungle is pretty, pretty low. But, uh, fleet is, fleet is detected. Uh, it says this is Rishka. Could we attack it? All right, so they've they've got a star base. Let, let's test out the Magnus, which I could have sworn I used a different configuration for the the hull. And we just straight up tell it to attack. Let's actually send you off to the side. This is just. Wait, what was that? Is there an explosion over there? I saw like a burst of light. Can't wait to see. Oh, jeez. Oh, cool. Look at that barrage of missiles coming in. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Where's the photon things? Is it, was those the blue ones that I shot at them? Jesus Christ, look at the damage. Yep, didn't even break through the shields. Well, there is a little bit of tactics to that. I managed to dodge some missiles by hiding behind an asteroid. That was pretty cool, actually. Attack the colony. So, we've got, uh, let's just drop them all. Took out one of their structures. The Magnus, uh, performed gloriously. It's just another pirate coming in. The Magnus needs, uh... A, a decent amount of destroyers as a uh, kind of a guard an escort attack got the structures which I'm pretty thrilled with I mean they took out one of my colonies I'll take out one of their colonies pirate base these hives of scum serve as hideouts for hostile ships that will attack any fleet they cross paths with without mercy wiping them out a smart thing to do. You need ships armed with bombs, such as destroyers, to attack around structures. So this Virgil Prime, which doesn't give me any information on, is a pirate pirate hideout. Alrighty, what do we got here? We don't even have. Uh, do we build a? We must have had a. What's it called? Built here. Advanced DNA Center, research, global DNA, security. Let's build some... Let's build a, a run of destroyers. And they'll serve as... Kind of the... the well, we'll get the Magnus over here. We'll, we'll join them up with the Magnus. Start colony ship, marine barracks. Neutron collider. Right, I think we're pretty safe over here. I mean, I was... Their, their fleet scared the crap out of me, but then... Nothing ended up happening. Got him. The colony's been destroyed. So let's head out. So they destroyed one of our colonies. We destroyed one of theirs. Tit for tat. Honor, simulate that. No big deal. Very glad I decided to build those military outposts. They've been helping out a lot. Let's see, small planet, arid biome, abundant minerals, and gems. And then a bunch of asteroid fields here. Let's keep this guy a scouting. Try to find some good colonies. My people like low gravity, so any low gravity worlds would uh, be beneficial for me. Ooh, what do we find here? Griffin Prime. Rare worlds with extraordinarily rich ecosystems. So, uh, it's super important. We got artifacts here, too. Oh, guess what we're doing? This is, we're gonna take this system for ourselves. And Griffin 2 is great, too. This is our freaking system. Ours for the taking. Fleet needs orders. Um, why don't we have them 
Move back over here. Well, it won't let me. Right over there. Oh, that's like the end of a route, too. They can't get any further than that. Unstable warp point. Rife with rogue energies that wreak havoc. Uh, traveling through an unstable is impossible until ships are equipped with the multi-state insulator. Oh, okay. It's got a different color. Okay. All right, so we don't have really anything to do then. We can put it on Auto Explorer, I guess. Just have them do their thing. I like that we destroyed one of their colonies. It was clearly brand new. But they destroyed one of ours. We destroyed one of theirs. Makes me feel better about myself. And I'm going to go take out these scout ships, I think. I'm not comfortable... Uh sending the Magnus into unknown combat situations until it has a proper escort. Alright, let's get a government support facility up here because the morale is really low on this barren rock of a planet. And we don't have anything to do with the moons yet, but we'll work on that. We need a new... Controller, new Ooh. developments require your immediate attention. Hmm. Engines. Even without me, our scientists have made I just realized that you actually select one of those and you don't get both of them. Controller, new developments require your immediate attention. Interesting. How did I miss out on that? Antimatter bombs. Maybe if there's two... Th oh. I remember in... In Mood 2, like, you had to pick a technology and you picked one, it would kind of... I meant you can't get the other ones. I guess it's the same in here. How did I miss out? How did I miss that? Welcome. To I've just been flying through the game. The Bulrathi Empire battle against the Human Republic for control of the galaxy. The galaxy. Pirate field clearing out war. Neutron collider complete. All right. So, what do we want to build here? Let's start working on this. This plan's actually grown pretty quickly. GNN, Galactic News Network. And now, the state of the state galaxy. of the galaxy. The census rankings of empire populations. Why am I not on there? I wish it would show me where I am in relation to them. Just production. Alrighty. Now, this is a barren planet, so fungal farms seem feasible. I don't know why it's allowing me to even do that. Let's take these guys out, simulate. Just so they're not sitting there. I don't know why they're just sitting there. We're actually going to leave our fleet here, because it's pretty close to our reinforcements. Once the new destroyers are complete, then I'll send them over to uh, get back together with the main fleet. And then they'll go in together. I'm just not... I'm not totally convinced that I can send the Magnus into combat without an escort. Control it's powerful. New developments require your like population growth. Alright. So yeah, you pick one or the other. You don't get both. I don't know why I thought that. I knew that from the older, other, other games. You do one or the other. Genius. Alright, let's get a marine barracks going over here. They don't have any... They don't have any uh, ground defenses yet, and I definitely want the uh, to have access to marines if we... if this war escalates. Fungal farms built. Get a research laboratory going, more research points. And that should be done. We, we processed through a lot of turns. Yep, there it is. I was waiting for those ships to finish. Uh, well, no, right now what I want is a colony ship. Oh. Come on. Get over there. There we go. Choose production. 
Do we already build that? Uh, we need a new space factory to build uh, exterior defenses, basically. Reach its maximum population limit. That's the first. First one of those I've gotten. Sorry, I had to switch mice real quick there. My, um, my wireless one, I forgot to charge it up overnight. Alrighty. I think we're pretty set, we're pretty good here now. I was super worried about our defenses and then we sprinted, I expected that fleet to come ra rampaging through my land and then it didn't. And yeah, we're, well, no, well, I think we just spent, put one of those into uh, the colony ship, so. Toxic processor. Only cleans an atmosphere and then upgrades them to Baron. Let's get this going. Or could we we could do the proof security, but I don't think that's necessary right now. Government support facility. Let's get that going. That'll increase our morale. We got a lot of pollution going on over here too, so we should probably take care of that. And here's our colony ship. They're gonna go over to this wonderful, wonderful planet over there. Best one we found. Rare Gaia. That's how I always pronounce it in my head as a kid. G-A-I-A. -A. We're actually almost capped down on command points. We are fl Our fleet can only get a little bit bigger, and we're going to save those for defenses, I think. So, till we get anything to increase this. Alright, morale is 75%. And Atmospheric Renewer, it's going to help with the pollution that's getting pretty out of control, honestly. And where's our fleet? Did they, did they get together yet? I don't know. How's the pollution here? Low. Super low, actually. There's no pollution, interestingly enough. Hmm. Well, we got the time. And we're not doing anything. This is a very cold war. Like, it got real exciting all of a, all of a sudden. Controller, new developments right. require your immediate attention. So, we can have battle pods, which increase the uh, increase space in the hull, so we can fit more weapons on. Or we can get fighter base. Each fighter is equipped with the best point defense uh, enabled energy weapon available, as well as the best armor and targeting computer. Fighter ships must periodically return to the carrier for repair, rearming, or refueling. I'm gonna go with fighter base because I like the sound of that. Controller, new developments require your immediate attention. Did they put fighter base on those? What was the upgrade? All right, let's just do terraform. Oh yeah, let's get terraforming going. Okay. So this will upgrade, that's engines? Engine, yeah, that's the engines. Upgrade, we can afford to upgrade them all, so why not? I don't know when it allows you to do that. So here's our, our combat fleet. Let's, uh, let's, what's this, Altari? Is that their homeworld? I don't want to attack their homeworld, let's head over here. And see what we can find. We got a pretty powerful fleet now. We got a very powerful fleet, actually. Well, I feel like it's powerful. I don't know. We could we could design a specific carrier too. Although I would like a larger hull size before doing that. What's the po pollution here like? The pollution on our home world is high. The pollution is very high here. So let's get the toxic processor. That'll reduce the pollution as well. Or you do pollution cleanup. I didn't even realize the pollution was high. Super high here, too. And then we can do the pollution cleanup thing for a couple turns after that. I just saw a fleet heading this way. Alright, let's, um, let's guard right here, because I saw their fleet heading in this way. 
Maybe we can intercept it. And we are going to colonize. Oh, look how pretty. Griffin Prime. It's got a cool name, too. It's got a real cool name. Perfect. All right, so first things first. Do crust pot prospecting to increase our production. Uh, let's see, generates additional production points. Production, well, that's true. Okay. Whatever can increase our production is gonna be the most beneficial right now. Nobody can get through here without going through my land first. All right, yeah, I definitely want to see what's going on there. Oh, the space, uh, the thingy was built. So let's head over here. We're going to build another military outpost on this side. Just in case. And I want to see what's going on over here. It looks like it's just a scout. Yeah, it's just a scout. No big deal. No big deal at all. Okay, well, we're going to leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Masters of Orion, Master of Orion, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.